A present day everyone, welcome to our short tutorial today. So our topic for today is about limit of exponential function. Okay, limit or limits of exponential function. Alright, as mentioned uh, in the previous video, so we have limit of transcendental functions. So transcendent transcendental functions include the uh, trigonometric functions uh, logarithmic functions the exponential functions uh, hyperbolic functions and so on and so forth now uh, our focus for today today's uh, tutorial is just the exponential function now suppose you are asked to evaluate you are asked to evaluate the following limit uh, number one, if you're asked to evaluate this limit of e to the power minus 2x as x approaches to infinity. So what will be our answer for this? Now to solve this problem, we are going to use the uh, concept that we have learned in algebra. That if you have x to the power negative m. So this is the same as 1 over x to the power positive m. So we are going to use this concept to solve this problem. So therefore we have limit of e to the we have 1 over 2x as x approaches to infinity. And if you are going to substitute the value of x which is infinity to this expression here so we will have zero okay so the whole thing becomes zero so why why is that so okay so the reason is that if you are going to substitute the value of the x which is infinity so we have e to the power e to the power 1 over 2 times infinity okay so this will be uh, this will be e to the power 1 over infinity all right and then we have um, 1 over e to the power infinity uh, infinity is a very huge number right uh, so e to raise to the power a very huge number like for example if you have 2 you have a number 2 when you raise that to 5 that becomes 32 right so it means that if you raise a number to another number it makes the number much uh, bigger so in this case we have a very big huge number and then you have this as the exponent of e where e is equivalent to 2.7182818 so raised to that very huge number that makes the whole thing a very huge number so this becomes infinity and this would be zero so one divided by a very huge number so that is equal to zero okay so that's the reason Alright, so next number, if you are asked to solve for uh, number 2, if you are asked to solve for the limit of e to the power positive 2x as x approaches to negative infinity. So we have here negative infinity. So if you are going to substitute this negative infinity to x so we have e to the 2 times minus infinity and this is also equal to e to the uh, 2 multiplied by negative infinity negative infinity is a, a very huge number in terms of figure but it's on the left side of the uh, number line so if you can still remember in our number line if we have this our zero we have here the positive infinity 
the positive infinity here we have the negative infinity so this negative infinity here is somewhere on the left of zero all right so very far from zero okay so two times that uh, negative infinity so that becomes uh, uh, for example infinity uh, negative infinity is one billion negative one billion so that becomes two times negative one billion so that is negative two billion right so that is still a very huge number so we can just write it as negative infinity so therefore we have uh, using this uh, concept of the loop exponent so we have um, 1 over so instead of e to the minus negative infinity we can rewrite this as 1 over e to the positive infinity and this becomes 1 over infinity you know like uh, a while ago something like this and th this would turn to 0 okay so I hope you understand this class and if you have any question uh, for this part you may uh, send me a message in our uh, GC okay so thank you very much have a nice day and see you again in our next a video for another topic uh, stay safe and healthy always god bless everyone bye